that all set. Okay, hello everyone. So today I'm gonna try to try to explain the chapter five, getting started with the pandas. So this one gonna be the another key key Python packages we frequently use for the manipulating and they manipulating data and data processing. So from now on, maybe we will a little bit more in depth kind of understanding about the how we can uh handle the more actual real world data by using pandas. Because uh, in the previous chapter we already covered about the numpy, which is uh, some simple array like a matrixes or some one dimensional or two dimensional array, numpy array and as a matrixes and then how we can deal with uh, those matrixes. But the thing is uh, that matrixes usually have, have uh, typically has uh, some of the homogeneous data set like uh, once the uh, once array is the numeric it's gonna be the numeric data set and then uh, we usually deal with that but the pandas is uh but uh maybe maybe on the other hand pandas can be handled with a more like a heterogeneous data set which is like uh, by using the uh, data type called a data frame because we already familiar with the uh, data frame, right? So R also uses the data frame as uh, one of the most commonly used data type for, for our data analysis. So Python also has the that data frame type and then that data frame type is also very similar with the that, uh, that in R. So data frame is uh, more like uh, allows us to handle the more heterogeneous which means like a various type of the data type, uh, various data type within the one single data table. So that's another things we can do for the pandas. So, so that's the kind of brief introduction about the pandas, which is the this part, right? And then now we're gonna try to cover cover the more basic function about the what pen by uh, using the pandas how we can deal with the more uh data set or data type using the pandas. But the thing is as you know chapter five is a very very long chapter. So today I'm gonna try to cover as much as I can about the chapter five. And then and then next week I'm gonna try to cover the rest of the chapter five. So that's the my plan. So, so we gonna be over the next over the next two over the this week and next week, uh, we gonna we gonna cover the chapter five, okay? Sure, sure. I think that's so, good. Yeah. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. All right. So here is the kind of a, as our some of the convention for the how we can import the numpy and pandas, right? So we can say import numpy as an abbreviation of the MP. And then the pandas is the abbreviation gonna be the PD. So these are the kind of uh, how we can call the those package. And also another thing we have to do is the uh, under the pandas there is a two key data uh, data processing type which is the series and data frame. So it is also much better we we can keep these two things as a separate kind of a namespace, local namespace, assign the uh, independent local namespace so that we can we can easily use those kind of frame. So 5.1 is the very basic data structure and then how we can deal with the uh, basic uh, data structure by using the pandas. So actually series is uh, more like a kind of a vector or maybe uh, kind of, a, I would say about the pretty similar with the vector in R. It is a just kind of a one demand array, kind of an object containing the some sequence of the value and also some of the data label also gonna be assigned for as the index. So for example, in here, when you try to make a series like a PD as a pandas, that series is a, we can call the that kind of, uh, that command as a namespace under the uh, that uh, pandas contains 
And then we can create the, these kind of uh, four, seven, negative five, and three gonna be the uh, uh, assigned as a kind of a uh, series, which is the number zero to zero one to three gonna be the index for the assigned to the each value, right? And then, and then four, seven, negative five, three gonna be the value corresponding to the each index. Index gonna be usually as a default, index gonna be automatically assigned to the each value in order. And then it's gonna be usually gonna be numeric kind of a order or numeric kind of a indexing. But, but I'm gonna try to talk about later, but this index gonna be also gonna be changed customized based on the your uh, what you wanted to do okay and then also you can you can see that in here maybe we have a object kind of a panda series kind of object so when you try to uh, call the this dot array attributes that's gonna be give us about the our value data set here. And then when you try to call the dot index attributes, that's gonna be show you about the where, what's the index gonna be look like. In this case, we use kind of a range index from the start is a zero and then a start at four and then a step gonna be one, which is a zero, one, two, three. As you can see here, the zero, one, two, three. That's the how, how index gonna be described when you try to using the dot index attributes, okay? And then, like I said, we can also try to uh, try to customizing, like a customizing or redefine our our array index name. Cause uh, in the previously, we just using the this kind of numeric kind of indexing as a default index. But the thing is, Whenever we wanted to define the sum of the separate indexes like a D, B, A, C in order, each one, each value gonna be corresponding, gonna be one by one in the in the in a sequence. So as you can see here, in case of the four gonna be corresponding to the index D and seven gonna be B, etc. Okay, that's the how how you can customize in your index, and also. Whenever you wanted to extract the some specific value based on the index name, you can use in the this parenthesis and also call the that index name like a A or D equal X gonna be the this one gonna be pandas series gonna be mutable, which means we can easily updating or replacing the value whenever we want, which is also very natural, cause uh without kind of a mutability attribute of the pandas, it is impossible to the updating the, our data sets. So that's the kind of things we can do. So as you can see here, now D has a change from change from four to six, right? Cause uh, we just updating the value based on the, this kind of uh, indexing by calling the that indexing name and then uh, we actually assign the another value into six. And also, when you try to listing the listing the uh, value name, you can also making customizing the how we can how you can extract the value uh, variable in your own order, like uh, your 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 order, okay. That's the how this one is. Oh, sorry. Like. So you you mean like we can uh sort of change the default index or yeah, changing oh, default yeah. index and also when you call the data set like yeah. here, like this, because mm. uh up here you can see is the index order is the D V A C, right? Yes. C is the last, right? Yes. But the thing is in here, you can actually call the C as a first and mm. D is the last. Oh, like, a, like a, you can call the data set as mm. you, uh, based on the, your order you want to extract. Okay. Do you, want, mm. do you understand what you're saying? Yeah, you're yeah, yeah. I, yeah, thanks. Yeah, I get it. Okay. 
Yeah. So, and also in here, you, by using the sum of the conditional kind of a statement, right? You can also call the, call the data set only meet the, this kind of a condition gonna be true. And also like a NumPy array, we can also multiply for the each value, each value, mm -hmm. like a, like in D is gonna be six multiplied by two, seven multiplied by two, negative by five multiplied by two, three multiplied by two, like this. So this one is a original value and then uh, this multiplied by two gonna be the apply to the each value, okay? Yeah. And then also exponential gonna be the same thing. On pi exponential gonna be, this one gonna be E, 12, like uh, E14, E negative 10, E6, like this. Okay? Yeah. That's the how it works. So you can just uh, say about the, it's kind of a dictionary. So it is kind of, I would say, about the index label and then a value pair. That's the how series is look like. So every every value has the its corresponding indexes, and then uh, based on the these indexes we can call the value, and then uh, based on the these indexes we can easily customize customizing our customizing or manipulating our database data set. It's a series. That's the series. Okay, hmm. and also. Uh, if you have uh, some of the Python dictionary, you can also convert in those Python dictionary as kind of a data uh, pandas series. So in here, when you have uh, this kind of a data set, like uh, S data, which means the uh, Ohio is the index name, right? And then uh, uh, three, uh, 350,000, uh, 35,000 gonna be, this one gonna be like a value, right? Yeah, that's the value, yeah. So usually in the in the dictionary, why you're gonna be index name or key, right? Yeah, the key. Because yeah. a dictionary, diction in case of the dictionary, in Python is kind of a key and value pair, right? Mm. And then but the thing is, uh, in each in here, like the series in Python, is the index label gonna be value pair? Both are the very similar because we can also customize the this key and value. Also, same for the index label gonna be value gonna be easily changeable or edit, uh, replaceable, like updated, manipulated like a dictionary. So that's the reason why series and dictionary is very compatible to each other, okay? So, so that's so the things. A, um, so what? it's like they are, you, you could easily convert a, a series to a, a dictionary, something like this, and you could yeah, also- Yeah, can, sure. yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Here is the how you can convert in here, mm. right? Okay. So this one is the dictionary data type, right? Mm right now and then by using the pd dot series oh yeah this you can object three gonna be yeah. the series oh okay and then you can also convert into the two dictionary attribute you can convert oh, so, it into so you the could, series you could convert it again to a okay you can yeah. convert a series to a dictionary and a dictionary to a series um, okay that make that sound yeah that's, that's cool you know <laughs> okay yeah that's yeah cool. yeah so that's the thing you can do so mm. and then also another thing you can do is maybe if you have a if you also have a kind of what is called the overriding kind of a index value so for example if you have a state name like this right mm. and then when you try to create the pd series based on the this in or oh, excuse me this index you will easily find that the California is going to be the non value, which is overrated because 
when you're looking at the this S data, there is no California data, right? Yeah, yeah there's no, yeah, yeah, there's Here. no California, yeah. So, but the thing is our index has the states as a California has the index. So that means we have a no value, but California is a kind of a one row. And also you will see the no Utah because in the index name does not have a Utah, mm. right? Yeah. So Utah value Utah data set going to be uh, removed. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So this is a kind of like a, a little bit similar function about the, when we try to join the table. For example, maybe assuming that we have a like a state state data set and then a value, which is the object object three, which is the Ohio, Texas, Oregon, Utah, right? Mm. And then it's a three five. Just I'm gonna try to put abbreviating. Okay, sixteen and five. Okay, and then uh maybe assuming that we have uh, only only state name column of the data frame, like uh, California, Ohio, and Oregon. Texas, like this. And then uh, if we wanted to try to join object three data set to the object four, like a join, okay? This one is actually in R, if we can actually say about the right join, right? So this is the yeah. left table, right? And this is the right table, right? Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Ob object three table gonna be joined into the object four table. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like this, yeah, yeah. this direction. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So in this case, we have based on the this state uh, uh state column. Okay. And then we have a uh, Ohio here, right? Here. So when we try to Try to do that. We can say about the here, like our outcome gonna be state California, and then so values like Ohio and Oregon and Texas. In this case, okay. In case of the California, we have a no value from the object three. That's the reason why we, when we try to join this table, we have a non value. Ohio is the is the, we have a Ohio on the both table, so we can call the this value in here like a thirty five. Same thing for the Oregon. Oregon also has the both table, and then sixteen, and then Texas. We also have a Texas in the both table the 71. So that's the reason why we have a, this kind of a table. So it's look like a kind of a joining the table. Okay. Pretty similar, huh? But it is a very easily can be do this if we can try to re-indexing the this kind of value and then I try to create the new data series. That's uh, another thing we can do about the joining the table. Not not by using the this kind of a join attribute functions. This is a one way we can do, but the thing is it is not very recommendable because if you have a uh, too many data set, now we only have a four row, right? This is a very simple because we can actually listing about the, all of the these states as a as an indexing name. But if when when if we have a uh, one hundred rows or 10,000 or maybe 1 million, million rows. Can we try to listing the all of the index name like this? It's not possible. So in that case, we can just using the join attribute table. 
this kind of approach is only applicable when you have a very small amount of the data table to manipulate it. So this one is just kind of a typically, just kind of a showing the, it can be possible based on the series, uh, series characteristic of the series data, data type, and then we can easily try to do the joining the sum of the two different objects. But the thing is, this one is only work for the, if we have a very small, tiny table or databases we can deal with. So this one is just kind of showing the example, but basically the, what this one does is the big, basically same with the joining the table, okay? And then also we can easily find out the missing value, like a dot is an NA attribute or not uh, NA kind of value. And then we can also try to do the, this kind of an instant method. And then you can see the easily find out that this kind of a true or false kind of a load, Boolean values. Hmm. And then uh, in here, we can say about the, whenever we have uh, these kind of joint things and then a data type gonna be the easily updated based on the higher, 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 higher order value type, okay? And also whenever we have uh, this kind of a calculation can be possible, right? In that case, it is a kind of a combined, combined, uh, combine these two tables together, like a, like a union kind of function. So we have a both California and Utah in this case. Okay, when you try to plus function, which is the combine. Okay. Yeah, so yeah I combine here. Yeah, in here, you can, I can say about, you can think about the being similar to a joint function. This is the reason why this one is actually looks like about the full joint. Maybe in R. Yeah, yeah, the full okay. joint, yeah. 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 Keep all the record is keep all the record in within the one table, join table, right? So mm. that's the thing. And also you can designating about the column name or index name as a state, and then a column name gonna be population. So as you can see here, index name gonna be assigned here at the top as a state. But the thing is, you don't have uh, any name next to the state in this case. But the thing is, instead of the name on the top, you can see in here, like a name as a list, which is the name gonna be uh, showing first and then uh, that data side gonna be second. This is how Python usually listing about the uh, uh, column, uh, column name, okay? Hmm. And also like, uh, like here, in here by using the index function, you can also adding, customizing the index name from here to here, right? That's the how we can do for this. So this is a kind of a very basic function about the when we try to deal with the series. And then this kind of a series attribute uh, characteristic gonna be also used, used when we deal with the, what is called the data frame here. So data frame is a kind of a set of the two dimensional kind of a kind of a table, like a two two dimension table. Or in here, as you can see, note there might be usually physically two dimensional, but there might be all more than the higher dimensional kind of a data. Maybe if we have a hierarchical indexing things, but. This is a kind of a quite rare kind of a database, but normally, like a typically, commonly, when we say about the database, we can, uh, data frame, we only thinking, we have a thinking about the, like a set of the column and rows 
as a table. What what dimension? Two dimension. Right? That's the how data frame gonna be defined. It is also the same for the data frame in the in the in R. So it's a very it's also the same function and then the same. Yeah, it's, it's same like the, 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 the idea is taken from R, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I think it's R is much more better with data frames. Yeah, I it is uh, we already surprising. familiar with the data frame in R, yeah, so sure. it is also yeah. the same structure, so it is very easy to understand, even yeah. if uh, even if in Python. So for example, in here we, we have a data set like this. So state as a uh, this name and then a year and population, and then when we try to make a data frame like this, right? PD dot data frame and then a data, we can actually have a, this kind of a data result, right? Or maybe when you're using the Jupyter notebook, you can see the this kind of very quite or oh, quite good structure organized the data table like a HTML table like this, so which is the very nice. So it is very easy to clean up and then already clean up and then easy to figure that out. And then as you can see here, all of the these things as a kind of an index name, right? This is actually default. Yeah. As a numeric order, right? So it start also please note that it on it starts with a zero. Okay. In R. It starts at it starts uh, at one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in Python, it starts at in uh at zero. Okay, that's the only differences. And then a head method gonna be the we can only listing about the top five row. And then tail gonna be the last five rows, right? Yeah. It's also same thing about the head and tail function in R. And also, you want to specify a sequence of column like a, as a series. You can also redefine the column order like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. And also, if you don't have any, and if you want to have another column that is not contained the dictionary, it's going to be appear as the missing value, which is the when you try to make a data frame by using the that data at dictionary, and then column gonna be the, okay, we have another column for the that. But that one does not include in our dictionary data. In that case, Python gonna be adding the that column, and then all of the value gonna be the um, um, not a variable, like an NAM value, not a number. That's the how you can create about the what is called the empty column. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's the thing you can do. And then when you try to click the dot columns attribute, that's gonna be give you about the column name as an index. Okay. And then also you can call the each column's the data set by calling the each column uh column name here like a state gonna be only listing about the state name in here and then here like a dot method this one is another met another thing you can do try to calling up the this data from the data frame but in here this note is the very very important okay attribute like table like a like a frame that year is the kind of a buried when you when you have a this kind of a, a data name does not conflict with the a data frame method okay so that means there is a, a lot of a different kind of a attribute functions within the that data frame attribute but that attribute that this column name does not com does not conflict with the, those attribute uh, functions in the data frame. Okay. And then also can you can you, can you repeat this part again, Phil? 
So for example, in here, maybe yeah. in here, this is yeah. the ROC function as an as a data frame attribute, right? Mm -hmm. So if you have a ROC as a column name, okay, and then when you try to call the that that column value, like a frame to ROC, this one gives you error because ROC is the already used as an attribute function in the data frame. Okay. So you cannot you cannot use the ROC as you cannot call the or you cannot call the ROC column like a dot dot by, by using the this kind of attribute calling function. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. How you can okay in that case how you how can you call the this log ROC column value of the error under the ROC column instead of the using this one you can just using about the frame this okay the previous method here. This, this one gonna be used. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. It does not mean that the this this name cannot be used for the data uh, column name in the data frame. You can use the this name as a column name. You can name any names, any character, any name, or any words can be used as a column name in the data frame. But the only problem is when you try to call extract the value by using the this kind of attribute like access, like by using dot year kind of kind of calling uh, method, this ROC function is already existed in the in the data frame attributes. So that means it this one does not work in this case. Instead, you can call you can use this one to call the location value in in this case. Okay. Yeah. Do you understand what I mean? Yeah, the, the, uh, I think the the uh, this uh, LOC function is not very clear to me I, because I I was I when I even read it I I got a bit confused okay. with the function here. Yeah, but okay, okay, let yeah, me. But... Let me do this for uh for this, okay? Hold on. Um. Okay, in here. Okay. Just give me a one second, okay? Mm. Okay, in this in this case, uh Okay, I create the uh oh uh, okay, hold on. Can yeah, we even call this the pandas? Yeah. Oh. Let me importing uh importing the pandas first, right? Yeah. And also numpy. And... Uh, pandas import then we can create it that one right yeah so when we oh 
when we go to the frame, we have a uh, this data, right? Yeah. Okay. Mm. And then, uh, like I said, maybe if we can, assuming that if we can create in the, not the depth in this case, maybe ROC functions. And then, uh, when we try to click the frame two, we will have an arrow C like this, right? Yeah. And then when we try to do the frame two for arrow C like this, we can call this one, right? As mm -hmm. a value, right? Yeah. But when you try to do this, this one as an arrow C, it gives you the error. Okay. Yeah. Why? It is because ROC, ROC is uh, dot ROC, dot ROC, ROC is the one of the attributes in Python database. So its its name to call its attribute name is already used, right? Okay, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's the reason why, but the thing is, please note that the, this the dot, this attribute based call, this attribute based access does not allow. It does not mean that you cannot, you cannot have a name for the LOC. You, as you can see here, yeah, Everything already is have, already yeah. created, right? Yeah, yeah. But the thing is, this this name is already used as a con attribute attributes in the Python database. So this kind of a object based dotted x uh, uh, uh like a attribute based access not gonna be happening. Uh, yeah. Okay. okay, maybe if you can call the ear. In this case, it can be possible to call like this way. Okay, mm. Mm. this is a this is a possible because mm. because that ear is not is not an attribute. Yes, yeah, not in okay. Python. Yeah, Python mm. database mm. Okay. data frame. I I said. Okay. This is this is this is clear now. Yeah, it's clear. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. All right. Yep. So that's the thing. It's very important to remember. Okay. Mm -hmm. This one. And then here is a I'm, I'm gonna try to say about the location function, the I location or L L C attribute. So like I said, these are the already already used, this name is already used as an attribute for the data frame. So this kind of attribute, attribute access, attribute like access cannot be allowed. This one is already have an attribute as a data frame. Okay. So, yeah. uh, so whenever you have a frame two, LOC dot one, as so you will see this one, like uh, index one gonna be Ohio, right? Mm. So that one gonna be called out like this, okay? Yeah. So this is how it works. Okay, let me move back to, maybe I can have uh, these two calling at the same time. And then... Can you see the screenshot too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So these are so, the so kind this, of this lock is it just shut down for location or or what? What do you mean by that? The lock, the LOC, is it? Some LOC for... is a just kind of a just kind of a you wanted to extract some specific law of the data. Okay, some like yeah, some specific law. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. 
And then also you can have that like uh, when you have a uh, that fun that uh empty column, and then uh, you can assign the uh, this value. Everything gonna be the same value across the all the column from the NAN, right? Mm -hmm. And right. then also you can you can do that like this, like a range function. Yeah, whatever you feel like doing that. Or yeah. you can do the separately. Or maybe you can also do that the setting up the value like this as a series. And then a designating the index about the where this value gonna be assigned as an index number. Okay. So how this and then after that you can say about the in the depth column we're gonna try to assign the this value series so you, this one is actually show you about the, how you can combine the series into the data frame okay yeah. so in case of the this value uh series you have a uh, one negative point two one point two negative one point five negative one point seven as a value and then the index number like a location index number gonna be two four five. So in that yeah. case negative one point two gonna be assigned to the uh law with the name cut with the index value gonna be two here and then the four gonna be here and five gonna be here. Do you understand yeah. what I mean? Yeah yeah sure yeah and then also assigning the column, it doesn't exist, can be create a new column. How you can do that is a kind of a, there is actually column, uh, column function called, uh, how you can do this is like a, like a frame two, and then maybe you can say about the maybe continent. And then you can just about the series. By doing that, you can actually define the new column. Let me try this one, okay? Like in so, here, you have frame two, right? And then maybe we say continent. Is that is that right? Continent, continent, right? I'm not. I'm not sure. And then, and then when you say frame two, you can see this. Yeah, it's a not kind of a, or maybe you can say about the this one. This one gonna be can be do that like a numpy and nan. Oh, we don't have any. We we did not importing the numpy. Yeah, we didn't import numpy. Yeah. Yeah. NumPy as an empty, okay? And then we can do the empty column like this by using this one, mm. okay? And there is, or maybe, uh, or here, okay? Here, like a not series, like a MP, and then gonna be creating the new empty, Another number column, okay. Mm. Yeah, and also you can also try to do the boolean kind of a variable like this. This one is actually kind of a logic, and then this one gonna be assigned this log logic result gonna be assigned to the eastern, and then uh, a yeah. true or false gonna be given, like a boolean. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So, and then also another thing we can do is uh, we can deleting to the some of the specific column if you want to, like a delete command method, and then a frame two, and then uh, we can designate in the column, and then uh this gonna be deleted deleted by using this one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think or even with the minus sign you can just delete. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. 
yeah, mm -hmm. minus sign or just minus and the indexing number like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. That's the you can do. Okay. And then also another common form of the data set is the nested nested dictionary of the dictionaries. What does that mean is uh, we have a uh, Ohio as a column. Mm -hmm. And then indexing number, like a key, this one is a key, is the one, and this one is a value, right? And then uh, what you can do about the data frame from the this one is that we have uh, Ohio and Nevada. And then uh, this 2000 and 2001 and 2002 gonna be used as a key and and in here in index index yeah index name yeah mm -hmm. and then a h value gonna be assigned separately like this right yeah and then and then you can also transpose this database like a matrices like a swap the row and column so this one index name gonna be converting to the row like this, right? And then Ohio and Nevada, in this case, the column name gonna be converting as a index name. Like this. Yeah. 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 This one is actually kind of a very similar syntax about the NumPy array, like a transpose about the array in array matrices, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then also you can try to creating the data PD frame and then a population. And then the index is gonna be like this. And then when you can see here, we don't have any 2003 data set. That's the reason why we have uh, this NAM value. And then uh, even if we have a 2000 data set for the Ohio, but the thing is the index does not have a 2000 as an index name. So 2000 data set gonna be removed, right? Yeah. This one is a kind of another way you can do about the join or updating the table in the data frame in Python. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Like you mentioned, this 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 thing is fine, but you know, when you are working with huge data, this doesn't apply. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It yeah, yeah, like yeah. This, this is just for illustrations, yeah. but in reality you, you cannot use yeah. something like this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I so actually Rather than the using this one, maybe next one gonna be the more useful because uh, in this case in Ohio, maybe we mm -hmm. can say about the, we can create the, another data, data uh, raw data, like a dictionary data about the frame three and Ohio column. And then uh, we have uh, until negative one, which is the, which is the kind of a, uh, this one is a zero, one, two, and then a negative one, negative two, negative three, I guess. So until negative one means, negative one means like uh, we can keep the up to the these two column in the Ohio. And then frame three, Nevada, uh, color two is that we can only keep the zero and one like this. Zero and one, right? And then we can when we try to try to create in the creating the database, we can only have a uh, this uh have uh, these two data, right? Yeah, it is actually cutting close, but maybe maybe I think that we can try to do this, but this one is how it looks like. So whenever you, when when we try to learn all of the, these comment, what this one does is in the frame three, only zero and one gonna be kept. And then uh, this one is uh, until negative one means a uh, negative two and negative three, this one gonna be kept. So Ohio and Nevada, and then we have a 2000, 2001, and then 1.5. And this one is not available. 
and then 1.7 and 2.4 in this case. This is going to be the result for this command. Do you also understand what I mean? Sorry, not 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 really. I don't get this negative. Okay. We already learned about the how we can. It is about the reversing kind of indexing order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay, the reverse yeah. index. Yeah. Okay. 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 So yeah. I will try to. Okay, let me explain a little bit more detail. Okay. No, so, no. I thought it frame it, it three. No, yeah. no. I thought it worked differently in pandas, but if it's the same yeah. as we had seen previously, then it's fine. I thought it works yeah. differently in pandas. Yeah. Maybe fine. I just try to, yeah, this one as an example, okay? So in this one, like in the frame three, like this one. Mm -hmm. So uh, maybe frame three has a data set like uh, Ohio and Nevada and 2000. And 2001, 2002, and 1.5, 1.7, 3.6, not a number, and 2.4, 2.9, right? So actually, 2000 and 2001 and 2002 has the kind of a order for the 0 and 1 and 2, right? Mm -hmm. As an indexing order latent indexing order, right? But negative one means this one is actually negative one when we reversing it. Yeah, negative so, two, so. this one is a negative three. So yeah. what, what this one means is we cannot include the negative one, but it actually says about the negative three and negative two. Yeah, it's the same. Country, yeah. Yeah, so that means in the frame three and Ohio table, this one, Ohio column, right? Mm -hmm. Like this column. We only importing the this low low indexing number negative three and negative two, which means this one and this one. Sure, sure. Let me change in the color. Yeah, this one and this one. So, so in this case, we only get the Ohio two thousand, two thousand one, one point five, one point seven, based on this. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And then, uh, next one, Nevada, gonna be very simple, right? Nevada is the this colon two means actually zero and one, right? Yeah. So that means zero and one, right? So along the this Nevada column, we only extract the row with the indexing name with the zero and one, right? Yeah. So. Nevada and 2000, 2001, 2002, uh, not 2002, 2001, and NAN and 2.4. And then when we combine all of the, these two, gonna be showing you like this, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's the, how this one is about, okay? Yeah. So now we have a have a this data frame constructor like a more like operation and then more construction kind of things. So it's a kind of a two dimensional ND array like a mix of the data, and then a dictionary will array list and tuple. Yeah, and then NumPy and dictionary over series or dictionary over dictionary. All of the these constructor can be possible 
to use as the data frame. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then now in here, if say about the data frame indexing and column has the their name attribute is set, you can actually display like a okay, print three index name is the year, like a, this one, the index name gonna be year. And then a print three columns name is the state, is the state is the Ohio and Nevada, right? It's a little bit weird, but this one is how it works. Yeah. And then uh, unlike a series, data frame doesn't have a name attributes in here. So data frame two numpy number returns a data set contain the two dimensional array like this. To, to change the array, that means only only this value set gonna be the return as a array numpy array value. Cause uh, cause a numpy array does not have any any uh indexing or any name kind of attributes. Okay. Yeah. And also. Also, maybe if the data frame column is the different data types, maybe in that case, we can actually turn the array with all of these kind of a column, column information. Like a frame two, in this case, we have uh, all of the these value in here, and then uh, this one gonna be returned. But still, in the NumPy, we do not have uh, any, any uh, indexing name or any column name in here. Only only set of the set of the matrices like this, set of the matrices like this gonna be uh like uh gonna be be taught like this. Yeah, okay? Pandas Pandas is more, you know. Yeah. Uh so usually pandas is a more like a similar or real world like uh our data manipulation and the yeah, data set. Yeah, so stuff like that. Just like tidy so bars. Oh, that's the kind of things. Okay. Mm. Uh, now we have an index object, but the thing is it is already three or four. And then uh, I think that let's stop here. Okay. Yeah. For now. And then uh, by next week, I hope that I can maybe, today I just uh, try to, try to explain a little bit more detail about the all the data basics in pandas. But now you already know about the, some of these things. So maybe yeah, next I think, I think week I'm go gonna try to yeah, not, move it, move it. That, because most of this yeah. stuff also it's it's already in R and you know we're a bit familiar yeah. with stuff like this. So yeah. So next week I'm gonna prepared. try to do a little bit a little bit faster. Yeah, yeah. And then and then we can wrap up the this chapter, okay? Sure, sure, that's fine. Yeah, maybe I think that I recommend you to read the rest of the chapter in advance so that that's gonna be help you to understand the contents much better. Okay. Sure, sure. I'd gone through, yeah. I had gone through this part, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh. All right. So this is it. Any question? Anything? No, fine. It's uh mm -hmm.